Hi guys, welcome to David Tech. Today we are going to learn how to create this awesome effect. For this tutorial you don't require a deep knowledge or any external plugin. Just follow this detailed tutorial and you will learn how to do it in over 5 minutes. So without further ado, let's do the computer and do it. Well, we have here just a single clip and an audio file. So first of all, I will right click over the song, create a new composition. And now uh, I think it's a bit, uh, maybe too long. I will shorten the song, then click here, trip come to work area. And then I just drag and drop the video file. So we have our video with our song. Okay. Next, we are going to transform the beats of the song into keyframes. Uh, sounds quite difficult, but actually it isn't. You right click over the song, go to keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. And as simple as that, you already have your keyframes. If you go here, you will see that in effects you have left, and right channel and both. Uh, you can apply the effect the differentiate it by the different channels, left and right. In this case, I will delete these two for the sake of this tutorial and we will work with both channels at the same time. So if you want to see the keyframes that we just generated, just click on this icon. You see, as you see here, all the beats have now a keyframe. So how we can animate anything based on these keyframes. Very simple, actually. We are going to add a text. Just click on the text tool. I will leave this uh, font. I go to align, center it, and maybe I will do it a little bit bigger. Going to scale, align. And now what I want to do is make the text grows with the bits. In order to do that, then the first thing that you need to do is change the anchor, po anchor point. So you go here, and as you see, the anchor point is in this uh, corner. I will move it to the center of the test. Perfect. And after that, what I need to do is, while pressing Alt, I click over the scale. And this will open the expressions. Now you drag and drop this icon to the slider here. Now in the expression, you need to add. And this basically means that we are telling the expression to respect the scale that we already gave to the text. Okay, just click anywhere outside the expression, not enter. And then you already have your effect. Let's see how this looks like. Okay, as I told you, you can use this effect for other than text. So we go to effects. Let's try to find brightness and contrast. Let's apply this effect to the video. Now we have here in an effect control, this brightness and contrast effect. We, while we press Alt, we click on brightness. We open the expression and you only need to drag and drop and parent to the slider as we did with the text. Now let's see how this looks like. As you can see, we have now the brightness and contrast effect already animated too. Let's add another one. For example, I find out that this channel blur looks cool too. So apply to the video as we did before. We change to horizontal and while pressing Alt, we click on the stopwatch icon, open the expression, and then we parent this effect to the slider in this way. And now we are basically done. You can apply any effect you want no, you can even use a different object, not only a text, you can use a logo or whatever you want, really. And the last step will be export the result, the final result. So you go to File, Export, 
add to render queue. Here you choose your settings. In my case, I will go for ProRes HQ. Okay, and then you choose the name and the location and just hit render and you have your final result. As you see, it's simple, it's easy, it's quick, and the result you get is awesome. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If so, please consider to subscribe, hit the like, and enable the bell, and you will get notification in my next video. Thank you again, guys. See you in the next video.